okay dear students let us see what is there in this question now two isolated point masses p of mass m and q of mass 2m are separated by a distance of 3d x is a point x is a point distance d from p i think like there is some error here but anyways it is a uh, clearly uh, visible in the diagram that it is d distance away from the point p and x is 2d distance away from the point q fine what is the net gravitational field strength at x okay so you basically want to find the not even force i must say the gravitational field strength so my dear students um, i prefer writing it as i and i call it gravitational field intensity but your books in ib they are just calling it g so i don't like calling it g because g is actually the acceleration due to gravity although these two things they are they are similar to each other they have almost the same values like not almost they exactly have the same values but even then that doesn't mean that these two physical quantities are the same the first one is the force per unit mass and the second one is the acceleration due to gravity of a body which is falling uh, under the influence of gravity so these two things are qualitatively different. So I do not like to call it by the name G, but your books are calling it as G. So anyways, do not get confused. At the end of the day, the question will be solved and it is going to have the same answer, whether it is given by you or whether it is given by me, isn't it? Okay, so the formula for the intensity is capital G M divided by R square. So you can call it uh, small g or you can call it I, one is the same thing gm by r square so first of all we are going to find what is the gravitational field intensity by p so that will be g into m divided by d square and this divided by q will be g into 2m divided by 2d square that is iq so ip and iq are known at the point x and it says that uh, we have to find the net field okay and they will be acting in the opposite direction obviously this will be attracting and the other mass will also be attracting uh, uh, this to the other so um, like when i'm saying attracting so you might be asking like whom who is getting attracted because nothing is placed at point x it is just a point yes but when we want to find these kind of things we just assume unity you know like unit mass there or you can like in the field of electricity you just assume it to be unit positive charge so here you can you, you can assume a positive mass isn't it like unit mass so we can say that they would be attracting each other so they will be we would be subtracting this definitely clearly this is like 2 divided by 4 so this is going to be lesser than this so it is going to be ip minus iq this will be 2 so half so it will be gm divided by 2d square clearly the net gravitational force will be this gm divided by 2d square we have basically subtracted both of them nothing more nothing else and what about the potential now so let us first see gm divided by 2d square yes clearly you can see here so either c or d but uh, neither A nor B, definitely C or D. So now we want to find the potential at the point uh, Q, at the point X, let us see. So what about the potential? The potential, the formula is GM divided by R, but there is no square there, that is the only difference. So, and the potential is a scalar quantity, so it will always be added in the case of gravitation, and it is always having a negative value. Uh, I can say this. So the potential here will be GM divided by D due to P. And this will also be negative. G2M divided by 2D. This and this are getting cancelled out. Clearly it is getting added. So the answer will be 2GM by D. And that even negative. I repeat. First of all, try to listen. The potential formula is always negative, which is given by this. So VP will be given as negative GM divided by D. And VQ will be given as negative G2 
2m divided by 2d 2 and 2 gets cancelled out so technically both of the potential are negative and both of the potentials have the same magnitude obviously they will not be cancelling each other they would be adding on each other so when we add them the total potential will be negative twice of gm by d so it will be of this kind let us now see whether c is the answer or d clearly d is the correct answer this is the net potential and this is the net uh, gravitational field strength so this is how we do this question my dear students this is professor Varun. thanks for um, watching the video and please subscribe to the youtube channel also you can join the youtube channel if you want to access the paper two questions all the best